In this Olive video editing tutorial I will show you how to edit video clips using proxies. I've assumed you have a very basic understanding of editing in Olive. A link to my beginners tutorial is in the description below for those that don't and other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay. One of the problems with a lot of video editors is that if you've got a lot of videos, um, you know, once you start getting past the couple, you get all sorts of problems. Um, you can't do much, you get a huge amount of lag, and this is a problem even with quite a powerful computer, especially once you start getting up to, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes of video and maybe 50 clips so what a lot of people do is they use something called proxies now these are smaller copies of the original video so they don't have they don't use so much of your computer's resources and you can use them almost like a place to mark or change your video and then when you revert back you will have your edit done and everything will go back to the original format so what I'm going to just do here is I'm going to just remove these a minute and show you I'll get rid of this as well I don't need that so the first thing I would do is just select one of the videos um, what Olive at present certainly this alpha version isn't very good at doing is mucking around with frame rates um, I don't understand why people um, even put videos in with different frame rates but that's another story so just right click on one of your videos and go into properties and check your frame rate is the same because if for instance this was filmed at 50 frames a second I would create a proxy at 25 frames a second because it's uh, be lying to me so just make sure that the frame rate in the properties matches the video and if your other video is different well good luck to you <laughs> buy a video camera and don't use other people's anyway okay so first of all right click on your video first one and then next to proxies left click create proxy and next to dimensions where it says same size as source left click on it and decide on the resolution so I'm gonna go for a quarter resolution it's good enough for this viewer here and I'll do the same for this next one you can batch, do, batch it but it's just as easy to do it individually and we'll go quarter and then OK Now at present there doesn't appear to be any bar or anything that tells you what's happening although it will tell you when it's finished but if you're not sure just go back into proxy and just look at it. So this one's finished and this one looks like it's not quite done so we'll just leave it for a bit until it comes up as finished okay well it's telling me here it's finished now so what I'm gonna do is just for quickness drag both of these into the timeline so this is a bit rough and ready and now what you'll find is everything works rather marvelously so I'll very quickly just edit this so we'll go here doesn't like going backwards for some reason so sort of come forward and then move sort of come backwards and then move forwards so we'll start here and all I'm going to do is just grab the end and snap it up drag this back and again come back so we'll go here and again I'll drag this end in here drag these up and this is 
a typical case where I've got a lot of video because I was waiting for the train to come in. Also, you can reduce the size of your view by left clicking on this minus arrow here. So we'll go here. I know it gets a bit wobbly. What about? Let's go about there. Drag this up. Slam it back. And here we go. Snap this back. And now we've got something we can work with. OK. Now if we go ahead and render, the only problem is we'll end up with a quarter resolution. Now I'm not sure if there's a quick way of getting around this, but all you need to do is just select your first video, right click on it, and then next to proxy, left click, restore original, and you'll get this come up. Would you like to delete the proxy document? doesn't matter which one you select so I'll just delete it save a bit of space and do the same for the next one restore original yes save a bit of space and what you'll find is you will get a lag again but the you've gone back to your original definition and now all you need to do is go and export your video blah 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 I won't, I won't go into this that quickly change your, your format and well, I don't know And hopefully, when this bar is finished rendering, you should have a playable video clip that has been edited at the correct definition. So, hopefully, that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.